Hello everyone, welcome once again and in this video we are going to solve the third question of this series. Okay, and yes, friends, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe and do hit that bell icon. Okay, so stay tuned and let's go. Okay, so okay, so now let's see the uh, problem basically. Okay, so as you can see, the author and the name of the author goes into that, uh, you know, input box and fetch. Okay, so like on clicking that button, uh, an API call has to be made. Okay, so there are several conditions uh, that needs to be taken care of. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so now this no results, uh, it should not be shown during the initial render. Okay, it will be only shown if if we are having no like you know no, no if, if no data is coming in response okay during the initial render it should not be shown okay so yeah let's see our you know url uh, the api url and uh, okay so you will be uh, this is the url okay and ipaga is the name of the author okay so we will be receiving the data in the data key okay it's an array of object basically as you can see and we need to uh, render the title basically list of title okay so cool okay so like one condition i told you about no results okay so what is the another condition uh, let's see okay so let's enter the name ipaga okay so another condition is suppose you are having the array of five items okay so you need not uh, render all the items okay we only need to show the top three items okay only top three uh, objects basically you can say and another condition is that if the title is null okay so we are not going to uh, render that object okay so yeah uh, like you know uh, these are the three four conditions that we need to take care of okay so let's quote uh, okay so as per my previous video in which i have told you that hacker and provides us a url that we have to clone to get this you know basic setup um, and then you simply need to run the npm install command and npm start to get your code running okay so yeah this is how it looks initially and uh, okay so let's code okay so first I will be defining my state okay articles list as empty array then the author name and a first hit as false okay because initially uh, our call has not been made okay now the on change method okay so we will be calling on change whenever we will be changing the data in our input box okay so i have to call it over here on change this dot on change okay so here we have to simply do the set state um, author name okay so because we will be typing the author's name over there okay okay so cool our on change function is done complete okay so yeah okay so now let's go and fetch the articles okay here we have to call make the api call okay so let's make the api call i will be using fetch okay and here goes our api's url okay and basically it's a template literals that we are using as you can see backtick characters okay so yeah here we need to pass the uh, author okay and it's like page okay now we simply need to you know handle the promise okay so json dot data because we are getting the uh, uh, data in 
I mean to say the item in data key so yeah and one more condition that is like we only need to show um, only those title uh, which are not null okay so because we are also getting some objects in which title is null so uh, yeah we uh, we need not um, render them okay so if title is not equals null then on then only we are going to uh, push the object in our array okay cool now here we simply need to set the state and first hit as true okay so cool are <coughs> sorry fetch articles and on change function uh, both are complete now simply add a on click handler okay so cool okay so now we need to do is we simply need to render okay uh, the element of the array so first okay so first we will check whether the articles I mean to say arrays length we have we do not have the empty array okay so if its length is greater than 0 then we simply need to uh, traverse it okay but before traversing I will be slicing it I will use slice function okay to get the specified portion of the array because we need to show only the top three elements okay so yeah then we will be getting the new array then we will run a map on it okay so element and index and here we go okay so control x v. okay now here comes one more condition into picture that is basically uh, regarding the first api call okay so okay dot state dot what i am doing man okay something is not something is not good okay yeah okay so if first api call has been made okay then only we have to show this Else. okay cool yeah one more thing we need to provide this a key property for the uniqueness i will assign index to it okay so our code is complete okay so let me yeah uh, let me summarize it to you uh, the conditions okay so there were few conditions like uh, the first one was um, this no result it should not be shown during the initial render it will only be shown uh after the first api call has been made okay and another one was like we need to only show the top three elements okay from the array and one more that if the title is null then we should not render that item okay so let's see now whether it works or not okay okay so first hit the api with the wrong data let's see okay cool we got no results okay and as you can see uh, during initial render we are not getting any uh, no results okay so let's type in the author name ipaga okay we didn't get the data yeah we missed here element dot title oops uh, actually my i uh, i my net Actually, yeah my net disconnected that's why give me a few seconds you can see here error internet disconnected okay now let's see let's make I hope uh, my net is connected let's see okay so cool I hope you can see the list that we are getting okay it is rendered okay let's see the response okay so yeah the response is also we are also getting the response <laughs> yeah obviously we are getting response that's why our list is rendered okay so one more author okay so cool uh 
our code is working okay so now let's test it also we can also go ahead and you know like test it with this command that heck uh, you know uh, it will tell us the test cases and that you know basically it will uh, tell us the test suits and the scenarios that we have to pass okay so yeah as you can see i hope it is visible uh, the scenarios like initial ui renders correctly um, like test with non existing author with existing author the test suits okay and the initial like original test cases like three and yeah congrats we have passed all the test cases so we are ready to submit the test okay so you can go ahead and submit it and guys yeah if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel thank you stay tuned